All right, so I'm going to talk about the sum of a finite arithmetic series. So first off, let's talk about what in the world is it. So a sum of a finite arithmetic series, we're just trying to find the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic series. So we're just trying to find the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic series. Now we found sums before. So basically what's going on here, and you can especially see it in this example, if I wanted you to find the sum of this, and we've done problems like this before, you can see it in my previous videos, they need to find the sum of the series from i equals 1 all the way to 26. So you need to figure out i is 1, i is 2, i is 3, i is 4, all the way up to 26. That's 26 terms you would have to find and then add up all 26 of those terms to find the whole sum of this. So what's going on here is this is another one of those shortcuts. And there is a proof that develops where this shortcut came from. But mathematicians do like to make things easier. So instead of trying to find every single term here, there is a shortcut. And the shortcut's based off of if you have the sum of some sort of arithmetic series, what you're going to do is you're going to take that n on top. Remember, finite means, hey, it has an ending. So this doesn't work when n is infinity, only when there's a finite end. So when we have an n on top for some arithmetic series, what we can do to find the sum, which we denote Sn, what you're going to do is the formula is take that n, which is that top number, and multiply it by a1. And now remember, a1 is just the first term plus a n divided by 2. Now a n is going to represent the final term because if this is all the way up to some number like 50, the 50th term, remember that top number is the ending number, so if n is 50, this is a of 50. So the first term plus the last term divided by 2 divided by whatever n is. <clears throat> so this is our formula we could use to kind of do the shortcut. So this is only for finite arithmetic series. So in this problem, it says find the sum. Well, first thing I kind of want to know is, is this actually arithmetic? Because here in the future, we're going to be dealing with other series that there's a different formula. So I want to know, is this arithmetic? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the first few terms and see, hey, does it follow that arithmetic pattern? So we start with i equals 1. Then we're going to go to i equals 2. Then i equals 3, so on and so forth. So I just want to check and make sure, all right, is this actually arithmetic? So if i is 1, we'd have 4 times 1 plus 7, which that gives us 11. If i is 2, we'd have 4 times 2 plus 7, so 8 plus 7, it's 15. If i is 3, we'd have 4 times 3 plus 7, which is 19. Now the reason I did this is now I have my first three terms here, 11, 15, and 19. Notice how I went up by 4 and went up by 4 again. So that's kind of a quick way I could check, all right, yeah, we are an arithmetic series. So I now know, hey, this is going to apply because this is for the arithmetic series. So what I need to do is I now know I could use this formula here. So I need to know what n is. So remember n is that top number. So in this case, it is 26. So I'm going to replace, since this is n, that's 26, I'm going to replace all the n's here with 26. So this is going to look like s with a subscript 26 equals 26 parentheses a1 plus, instead of an, a26 divided by 2. Now before I can simplify this formula, i got to clean up a few things here. I want to know what a1 is. I want to know what a26 is. I want to know the real numbers here. So again, a1 is what is the first term? Well, we just calculated that when we were making sure this was arithmetic. The first term is 11. So we're just going to have 26, 11 up there. And then I gotta find out what a of 26 is. 
Well, 26, we're just going to plug in there. So if I want to know what A of 26 is, we're going to have 4 times 26 plus 7. Well, 4 times 26 plus 7, you can do that in the calculator. You're going to get 111. So now I know A of 26 is 111. So now that I have all my numbers, it's really just a simple game of, hey, use a calculator, figure it out from here. So I'll do 11 plus 111, so that's 122, divided by 2 is 61. So I have 26 times 61, which using a calculator, you're going to get 1586. So the sum of the first 26 terms here is going to be 1586. Now, quickly, kind of the reason why this was so nice and neat is, again, if I really wanted to find the sum, say I didn't know the shortcut, you would have to sit there and figure out I1, I2, I3, I4, I5, I6, I7, I8, all the way up to 26. So you'd have to do this 26 times and then add up all of those terms, hoping you never made a mistake to get 1586. Or if you use this formula in the shortcut, you can quickly go from, hey, instead of doing 26 calculations to doing only a few and figuring out, hey, this sum is 1586. So that is the sum of a finite arithmetic series.